Hello from Texas. Okay, my first time going through a freeze in a fifth wheel, um, and my first time being in a fifth wheel in the winter, I'm gonna share with you some really key information that you're going to need to know before you try to tackle it. Uh, first of all, I'm scared of the propane. I wouldn't use the propane. And as you see right here, I don't know what I did, but uh, we didn't have any hot water. And so um, it says electric right here, and I had it turned, I had this button right there, I had it turned the other way. And I accidentally turned off for hot water. This was during a freeze. Okay, right here where it says gas. I'm not sure why it says gas. Like, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. Um, hmm, it makes me wanna push the button and find out what happens. Yeah, let's go ahead and change that and see what happens. Uh, I don't know what this means. This is why I'm fixing to have to like study. I don't know the water pump. I don't know where it's supposed to go. So I do know one thing, this is what I have learned. Okay, slides. Uh, <laughs> when you push these slides, okay, I accidentally had a picture. I don't know if you can see it right here, okay? There was a picture up here. Here's my slide, right here. Okay, I went to go get my uh, fifth wheel moved and I had a picture up there and it was wooden. And I actually started, you know, bringing it in and the picture got stuck. I don't know if I can show you, but it got wedged. So we kind of had a mess up there. And then down here, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but uh, when it started coming out down here at the end, it was like coming up. Anyway, it was kind of crazy. Just know what you're doing. I would say study your rig, uh, read about it. Now I put these rugs down because rugs are too heavy to go. You, you have to realize when you're in an RV, like the shelving is not like, okay, so you have this refrigerator, right? Okay, you can't put a bunch of heavy stuff in it like a regular refrigerator and the shelving is the same way. You can't put a bunch of heavy stuff. Sorry guys, we've had a freeze. I'm like trying to prep for work. So we have a lot of stuff going on in here right now. But let me show you what I did. I'm afraid of propane. I don't use the microwave. So I went and bought all this crap right here. So I got an air fryer. I have a roaster over here. And I bought all this stuff because I was like, hey, you know what? I'm not gonna use the propane. Well, let me show you something. Okay, so you see this right here, this is a side note. Uh, these stairs will kick your butt if you have leg issues or if you have anything going on. Um, stairs will kick your butt. So you need to anticipate having some type of ramp, some something going. And what I did was this is padded and it actually helps a lot. Okay, so here's the other thing I'm learning. You can't put a lot of heavy stuff in here, so you're limited. You need to think about storage outside, which my son just bought me some storage outside. And I absolutely love it. And this is my heater that is heated by propane. So I was going into a freeze here in Texas. And what happened was um, I didn't have any propane. So I'm like, okay, cool. Last minute, we're running, get us propane. Well, no. <laughs> what happened was I took my propane bottles to which I was did not know how to take out. So I'm just letting y'all know, there's like, if you're a woman doing this especially, you need to learn some things or have an awesome neighbor like me. He's 81 years old, flies around on a little golf cart, and he has saved my butt like 100 million times right now already. And I'm not even joking. Like, I have called him almost every single day because of issues that I had. So I take my propane tanks, and I'm like, hey, you know what? Um, let's go get them filled. Go around the corner and get them filled. Well, guess what? They're expired. <laughs> I guess they expire every 12 years, and she wouldn't fill them. Oh, fantastic. It's a freeze. I can't get over across town or to the other city. We're the only other places that certify them. So I get home. My 81-year-old neighbor had to come save my butt. He felt sorry for me. And he brought me some propane, hooked it up, and he's like, you know, we're cool. Well, it's it wasn't going to get us through the freeze. And so what happened was we actually abandoned ship because uh, it got so cold in here. Uh, and, um, and we went to a hotel for a while. And then, like... We came back. I still haven't went to get propane. I'm going to get propane today because, um, you know, it's, I don't know. You don't want to like drive long distance with them in the back of your car. And you don't want to like, I mean, I'm, I mean, it explodes. So you have to be really careful. So I'm trying to like do it to where I can go get it, go get it certified and come back home and not like be scared about the crap blowing up in my car. Okay. But it's raining real bad today. If you can see, it's a beautiful rainy day. And I mean, who cannot resist to have a little bit of home time on a rainy day, on your day off, when you need a break, <laughs> and you just went through a freeze. And um, so anyway, I'm here. I'll handle propane because, you know, I'll do the grown stuff later. 
So here we go. Okay, let me explain myself one more time. We absolutely would have froze if it wasn't for my neighbor giving us propane. And when I turned on my heater, that sucker was awesome. It worked, it heated up, it heated up my pipes, everything. Because in a fifth wheel, it's designed to heat it up. So um, so we left and I didn't know it was gonna freeze, came back and there was like a, a icicle in our faucet. And I was real scared about that because I heard a lot of people online you know, telling these horrible stories about things flooding, things freezing. Well, I love my fifth wheel. I absolutely love my fifth wheel. And I have a lot more respect for my fifth wheel right now because of these babies right here. Those vents right there and you got a heater and it works good. It is lovely during a freeze. So um, I unfroze my pipes yesterday just by running the heater for a while. And there was no problem, no issue. Have no issues with the tanks, you know, hope I don't. But anyway, I just want to share that with y'all because seriously, like I jumped into this. I did so much research. I did like two years due diligence preparing and all this other crap. But you know what? That's head knowledge. You better go find somebody that knows that's lived in one, knows what they're doing, and you need to prepare and definitely, guys, get some propane.